the Wendy's pretzel bacon cheeseburger. I heard that it came off the menu, but then today I saw that they're bringing it back. And everyone's freaking out and excited. It was just really random that I had the urge to make it, some kind of synchronicity. But anyhow, I got all the ingredients prepped. You know, the pretzel bun, you want the American Kraft cheese, the bacon, and I decided to grill it. You by all means do not have to grill it, but I wanted to grill it. I've been doing a lot of grilling. We have a grilling series coming out soon. And first off, I've never grilled bacon, so I was like, what happens if I just put bacon on the grill? You never see people grilling bacon, and there's a couple reasons why I realized, but it was still delicious. I used some hickory smoke on the bottom, so I was getting a hickory smoke bacon experience. I just moved the bacon around. When I was in the fire, it was really flaring up because the fat was you know, burning down and shooting up, which was delicious, but it started to kind of burn it, so I sort of put it to the side, and then I took the bacon, and I actually used that instead of oil to oil the uh, grilling. Great, so that was kind of cool. And then I threw my square, famous Wendy's square patty down. I just let it cook for a while. And usually with patties like this that are thin, you're cooking them all the way through. But of course I did another basting of my bacon on the one side just to oil the burger up a little bit more. All I had was salt and pepper on there, so I wanted to put some oil on there. Um, what I find is when you start to see like a little bit of juices coming from the other side, that's when it's cooked all the way through. Flip it over. You know, just let it sit for a while. You can touch it with these, you know, fast food burgers. You're not looking for medium rare. You're just looking for done and cooked. So I took the pretzel bun, I put it down, added a little bit of that cheese, and it was so hot out, the cheese was melting long before I ever put it on the burger. So put the cheese, one slice on the bun, and then one slice on the burger, and we are ready to take this bad boy off, and we are going to start building one of the quickest sandwiches I've ever made and honestly, I'm thinking one of the best. So I put some bacon, you know, bacon always goes first because it gets nice and sticky with the cheese. I didn't have the regular lettuce, I used spinach, but no big deal, use whatever you want. Tomato, a little slice of the red onion, and then I made some honey mustard. Just took mustard and honey, that simple, folks. The delicious honey mustard. It seems like I have something in my throat, I keep like choking, I'm like, what is going on? And you put that top down and look what we have. Can you believe the thing of beauty that I am about to taste? See, that's me. In the back, you'll notice that I've been uh, working on this new grilling idea. You'll see that very soon we come up with the grilling episodes. But oh my God, this thing, honestly, it had me floored. I was just like, I felt like a little kid again. Just like, what am I eating? This is so good. Oh my lord, it was fantastic. Guys, give this a try. I promise you'll love it. Usually when you buy it, it never looks nearly as good as the one that they show you in the advertisements in the pictures. But when you make it at home, it only not only looks better, but it tastes like a thousand times better. It was such a thing of beauty. Give it a try. You won't need fast food anymore. You'll be making it at your home. Peace, love, respect.